IKEA office chairs are cheap, available in most major cities, and they have an amazing return policy. Even still, I don't think you should ever buy an IKEA office chair. We have two of IKEA's most popular office chairs, the Marcus and the Jarfalette. While they are the best options from IKEA by far, they're still D or F tier chairs when we consider the whole office chair industry. Yes, they are cheap at sub $300, but I do think there are better options for a similar price, both from a product quality perspective, but also from a buying experience. Being able to see things in person is great, but having to buy things in person is not always so great. That's the case with IKEA office chairs. As I mentioned, we have two of their office chairs, and they were two of the most difficult chairs for us to acquire for a few reasons. The first is that we do not have an IKEA near us. We need to drive around three hours to get to the nearest IKEA. Okay, fine. Why don't we just have it shipped? Well, that brings up the second problem. IKEA has the craziest shipping prices I have ever seen when it comes to office chairs. You may be charged $300 to ship a $300 chair. This is not exactly cost effective. It's also not easy just to have someone pick one up for you on their trip out because you need to have a fairly large vehicle to fit the boxes in. Luckily for us, Robert's wife was able to pick up a Marcus for us one time on a trip where she randomly went by an Ikea, but you can see the problem if you don't live near an Ikea and or have a big enough vehicle to fit the box. Planning a trip to Ikea is not ideal, but we did it when we went to Neocon Chicago last year, which is just a big furniture trade show. But on the way, there was an Ikea. We had planned on buying as many chairs as we could. We were really excited, headed on in, went through the crazy maze design, and finally got to the office chairs. The first major problem was that a bunch of the models just weren't available, just out of stock. This is something that must be somewhat common because other people had run into this problem when trying to pick chairs up for us when coming out to our location. Not having chairs makes it tough to buy them, and we weren't going to go home and order them because of the excessive shipping charges that we already discussed. This limited our options, but truthfully, that wasn't the biggest problem. The biggest issue is that IKEA office chairs are just pretty terrible quality. Oh, D tier. This is a D tier. Up until this trip, I had only seen the Marcus. The Marcus is okay for a chair under 300 bucks, and I see it being a nice option for some people, but nowhere near a high-end chair. The Marcus is like an Aeron compared to most of Ikea's chairs. These are some of the lowest quality, most uncomfortable chairs I had ever seen. This included their office chairs, task chairs, and their gaming line. Across the board, the chairs felt cheap, flimsy, had very few adjustments, and were not comfortable at all. I remember looking at Greg at one point and asking him if we were just wasting money buying these chairs to tell people how awful they were. They were just really that bad, and it felt super counterproductive to spend over $1,000 on a handful of chairs that we couldn't really find any good qualities in. I mean, they do have a strong warranty and that amazing return policy, but the chair is almost certainly going to wear out before the warranty even expires, and returning the chair poses the same problems and pain points as buying it did. We ended up passing on every single chair except the jar fillet. It was Ikea's newest chair at the time and was the only option that felt like it could be decent and worth additional testing. It was out of stock in black, so we ended up going with white, which I think is probably the more stylish choice anyway. Now, the jar fillet is nothing special. I think it has some improvements to the Marcus, like the lumbar support and the headrest being adjustable, but as a whole, I would probably still go with the Marcus over the jar fillet, even though the jar fillet is a newer design, just because of the rock hard arms on the jar fillet and the hip thrusty recline instead of the smoother option on the Marcus. If you are going to get an office chair from Ikea, I think you need to get it in person to save on that shipping, and it has to be either the Marcus or Jar Follette, otherwise the quality and comfort is so low that I don't even think it's worth spending your money on. With that said, I think there are better options in this price range without having to jump through hoops of buying from Ikea. 
I think the Clatina Millette, the Tacova Ergonomic Chair, and a couple of the chairs from Branch Ergonomic Furniture can be better options and the shopping experience would almost certainly be better buying from Amazon or Branch. And a slight jump in price will get you into much better chairs like the Han Ignition or the Eurotech Vera.